my name is Craig A. Robinson. I'm a Chinook Indian Nation tribal member and their office is located uh, down in Bay Center, Washington, which is near the mouth of the Columbia River. Uh, well, I'm just kind of one of those self-motivated, self-taught artists that from an early age I was doing mostly wildlife type art as I became more involved with the tribe and researching the artifacts and kind of self-teaching myself the style because there isn't really anybody to teach you the Chinook art form, at least at that time there wasn't. And so just a lot of studying and reading the old stories and picking out the little tidbits of information, going to the museums and things like that and just self-taught as far as that goes. Uh, Washougal, Washington at a park there I did a what would be considered probably the largest Chinook stone carving in existence now. The old one used to be about six feet tall and this one's eight or nine feet tall. And uh, that's to commemorate a village that was right there near uh, that park, Parkersville Historic Park. Uh, well, the, the main piece I'm working on today is just a, it'll be, it's a dugout canoe model. On the Columbia River, on the lower river, there used to be a lot of figural canoes that had carved figures on either end of the, of the canoes. And uh, it's kind of unique to the Columbia River and there's only a couple of old models in existence. Uh, for examples, but I've carved one earlier that was smaller and now I'm doing a larger scale one. And this one will have the pieces added on like they would have been in the old days. Most of the big canoes had pieces added front and back. Um, and so that's what I'll do is I'll add separate pieces on this. And then if I have time, I'll carve some figures for the inside of it. And then I'm working on a couple of panels in traditional Columbia River art style, more specifically the lower river. The art style changes as it goes up towards the Dalles. But, um, and I usually do a blend of that, but I'm trying to focus more on a uh, lower river kind of old style of product. So bowls and um, paddles and panels. I just invite, hopefully, uh, people will come to the show and learn a little bit about an art form that's still very obscure. I'm the only gallery Chinook artist that I'm aware of anyway, and um, so there's a definite gap in the understanding of what this art form is and how it differs from Coast Salish because it often gets blended in with and just clumped in with Coast Salish, which it's not. It's a it's a, its own unique style. It's definitely different than Northern Form Line, and it's indigenous to the Portland area. So this is the art form that you know, as you live here, this is the art form that uh, was here in the old days. So. Uh, if people get a chance to come see that and talk to me about it, I'm always happy to educate people on, on the differences and what the art form is about.